Hi guys, welcome back to PJ's. In today's video, we're going to look at the seats of the Mark 1, specifically the front seats. You may have encountered in your golf at some stage that the seats are rocking around like this, and it's very irritating for yourself and even for your passenger. It even tends to move around from side to side like this as you're driving around. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve that wobbly issue. And all that needs to be done is just to replace three plastic components onto the seats because the ones that are on here now are probably worn out already because of being on the car for so many years. Now just to explain to you what causes the looseness or the wobbliness of the seat is because behind this section of the seat here is a plastic component which has worn out by now after being so many years on the car and that literally creates a bit of a space for you know, the seat to wobble so that is why that has to be replaced and in the front of the seat you will also find another rubber like that piece of component which I cannot show you right now but we'll get to it situated around about there so that also needs to be replaced because it's probably non-existent and there you can actually see how loose that is how loose it is inside there is supposed to be a bit of a rubber which sort of stabilizes this area so you don't have the side to side motion and all that needs to be done is just to replace these three little plastic components to the seat the one would go on this side the other on that side and this rubber one goes to the front which I will show you when we get there we're going to have to remove the entire seat and that is what we will proceed to do now now first and foremost we will remove this uh, Phillips screw over here uh, so that we can take out this plastic panel because the whole idea is that we want to remove the entire seat so that we can fit the new plastic components okay that just simply comes out like that and then just keep that on that side and then you need to come to the front of the seat and remove this 10 millimeter nut here and this allen key that's number five there you go so you've removed that now so what that needs to happen now is you need to move the seat back but before you can move the seat back you need to move up this lever like that so that you can push the seat back all the way. There we go, you can see all the way back and as you can see here there is no rubber, <laughs> it's non-existent as I said. And there you can see I've actually pulled the seat right to the back and I've flipped it on it's upside down now and you can actually see the existing plastic components you can see they're quite old and this is the other side this is the other plastic component as you can see they're quite old they've been on the car for many years and there you can see that's the new one make sure that you put the same one back on the correct side because it has an inner and an outer and to get them off you just need a little screwdriver in here just poke it in here and then you will pull off the actual old one like that and then you can simply just fit the new ones you just put it back over they are a bit tighter because they're brand new just use a bit of force and put them down like that there you can see it's perfect same goes for the opposite side you just pull this down with your finger and lift it out as simple as that there you can see you can see these things are quite stretched out already there you can see that's where you fit them over just fit them over like that now just pull on this little ear here or use a screwdriver it doesn't want to go in and then you, as you pull it out you push down like that and there it goes in but now we've done the two plastic bits at the rear end of the seat now we're at the front so we come to this section here where we're going to fit this rubber type um, component and as you can see mine was non-existent mine was gone it was totally worn out <laughs> worn away so anyway this is what you do you just replace this by sticking that 
in there like that and that is going to give you that uh, stability for the seat at the front no more moving around as you're taking your turns and also a perfect opportunity if you want to clean your seats or vacuum or carpet shampoo this is the perfect time once the seat is out now you can do all those things and now once you're done with that put your seat back in move it forward move it into the groove over there move this back so that it can slot into one of the holes and once you've moved the seat into the desired place that you want it to be and then you can come and tighten up the 10 millimeter and the allen key as you can see no more movement after we fitted that new rubber no side to side motion yes and that is just a view from the back again the new plastic components are fitted slid back into the rails and you have a very nice sturdy seat now don't forget to put back this plastic trim after you're done with everything